Here is a fact. This is a fact. Every human being in this room, every human being on earth, had to pass through the legs of a woman to be on earth. That is a fact. <laughs> For what a great address. honor to be able to introduce for the first time. Hey, what's up, everybody? Jazz Gonzo here. Another episode of What's Next Weekend Edition. Good morning. Oh, after a busy week, after a an eventful, a I'm sorry, eventful week. Um, wow, from. Airline pilots standing up and saying, yeah, about that COF mandate from NBA players standing up and saying, yeah, about that COF mandate. Yeah, not for me. When you have uh, Dave Chappelle getting attacked for facts, when you have those scientists posting facts on social media and getting canceled, whoo, busy, busy, busy. But speaking of the latter two, Instagram, of course, a owned Facebook entity, decided to censor a biological scientist for posting facts that men are stronger than women. Oh my, you can't do that. How dare you? How dare you? You hater. You've crossed the line. And, um, I'm sorry, on the other side, you have Dave Chappelle who continues to get attacked by the wokest mob who may walk out next week up to a thousand people, but not really walking out because they'll still be at home doing their Zoom thing. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Instagram censors biologi bi biologists excuse me, for posting evidence showing biological men are stronger than the woman. Oh my, Ooh, they're going to come after you. As you can see there, that is one Mr. Hubbard, yes, posing as a woman who from New Zealand who participated in the 2020 Olympic Games, the Tokyo Woke Games, and lost to two real women. Oh, I'm sure he went home very happy. Facebook on Instagram censored evolutionary bio biologist Colin Wright earlier this week after he posted a study from a major medical journal showing male to female trans have a natural advantages, advantage over biological women, in, I'm sorry, real women, in multiple sports. The masters of the universe reportedly consider the post to be hatred. Yes, a line that's been crossed. Colin Wright, who has been published in the Wall Street Journal and was in academia for 12 years, posted a chart from the study conducted by researchers at the University of Manchester and Karolinska University Hospital, Stockholm, Sweden, showing that biological males have a performance advantages over real women across many Olympic contested sports. Similar scientific conclusions were reached in a study, <clears throat> excuse me, a study, a study published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine called How Does Hormone Transition in Transgender Women, in Tranny Women, Change body composition, muscle strength, hemoglobin. Systematic review with a focus on implications for sports participation. Conducted by researchers at Lawborough University and Karolinska Institute in Stockholm. They each concluded that even after three years of hormone therapy, pretend women, on average, still retain strength advantages over real women, which may not allow for even playing field in the sports competitions. Instagram took one down one of my posts for violating their rules on hatred. What was the thing that I posted? A figure from the Fauna Beatles and TL Exercises peer reviews reviewed paper showing male advantages in certain sports activities over women. How dare you, Colin? How dare you with your science? October 12th. In a post on Twitter, Wright revealed that Instagram took down one of his posts for violating its rules against hatred. The post that Facebook owned platform deemed to be hateful consisted of an image from one of the studies. Yes, graphs showing the advantages of biological males across a range of sports. 
Breitbart News has reached out to Instagram for comment and has received nothing. When you have a biological scientist, a evolutionary scientist, as Colin Wright, who is no conservative, who is no libertarian, who is a liberal, just posting facts that biological men, genetics, bone structure, muscle density have the overwhelming advantage over women in a number of Olympic sports. No, 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 no. You've crossed the line. But allowing Black Lives Matter, a domestic terrorist group, Antifa terrorist group, you know, last year's wonderful, peaceful protests, burning down buildings, looting, stealing, robbing, killing police. That's okay. Let's move on, shall we? This comes out of the blaze. Netflix fires organizer of trans employee, you know, pretend woman, walk out over leaked confidential data related to Dave Chappelle's special. Netflix has fired an employee for allegedly leaking confidential data pertaining to Dave Chappelle's latest stand-up comedy special, The Closer. The employee was also an organizer of an upcoming employee walkout to protest Chappelle's comedy special because of homophobia and transphobia. Netflix, which is notorious for keeping viewership data close to the vest, fired an employee for reporting leaking, leaking metrics on Chappelle's latest comedy special to the media. The commercially sensitive information was purportedly shared with someone outside of Netflix and was included in a recent Bloomberg article. The Hollywood Reporter highlighted the internal information that Netflix will not want to be made public. Quote, in the piece, Bloomberg reported that Netflix spent $24.1 million on The Closer, $23.6 million on Chappelle's 19, uh, 2019 special Six and Stones. Those numbers were in comparison to the $3.9 million uh, streamers spent on Bo Burnham's Inside, and $21.4 million Netflix spent on the hit show Squid Game. According to internal documents reviewed by Bloomberg, <coughs> excuse me, Chappelle's Sticks and Stones special was measured as having an impact value of $19.4 million, which meant that the special cost more than the value Netflix determined it generated. Mm, those numbers may be a little bit skewed, but if these are true internal numbers, uh, yeah. Netflix released a statement on the term and the, the termination of the unnamed employee said to have leaked confidential data related to Chappelle's special. Quote, we have to let go an employee for sharing confidential, commercially sensitive information outside the company. A Netflix spokesperson said on Friday, we understand this employee may have been motivated by disappointment and hurt by with Netflix, but maintaining a culture of trust and transparency. Transparency is core to our company. The, flyer, the fired employee, also, quote, leader of the Trans Employee Resource Group, who was organizing the upcoming tw October 20th walkout, according to The Verge. Hundreds of employees are expected to participate in a walkout to protest the streaming giant for continuing to air the closer. And comments made by Netflix CEO, Chief Content Officer Ted Sarandos, who defended Chappelle's comedy. Excuse me. The report from The Verge highlighted that the fired ne Netflix employee is black and currently pregnant. So the man pretending to be a woman, or I'm sorry, the woman pretending to be a man is pregnant. Oh my, the irony. Yes. You can't make this shit up. Quote, all of the white people who whiteness going around talking to the press and speaking publicly on Twitter, and the only person who gets fired is black, who is quiet the entire time. The former employee allegedly told the outlet, that's absurd, and just further shows that black trans are the only ones being targeted in this conversation. Meanwhile, Netflix suspended three employees this week for crashing the company's quarterly business review. The three employees, including one as identified as tranny, spoke out against Chappelle's special and since has been reinstated. Well, my thoughts. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that you, when you have a wokeism like a cancer that continues to fester like a like an itching boil on your ass, 
and just won't go away. And that is what wokeism is. As we all know, wokeism is the new racism, you know, because, you know, if you're not woke, you're not with it. You're not up to it. You're not with the cause. It's all bullshit. It is all auto bullshit. Steaming piles of it continue to be dropped over and over and over again. One, I'm glad that this man got fired or this woman, <laughs> this woman who is pregnant, who pretends to be a man, uh, got fired and has nothing to do with uh, this person being black, it has everything to do with them being woke and being stupid and retarded. That is why they got fired. And when you leak internal papers, it doesn't matter, internal, internal uh, confidential material doesn't matter if it's a private company or if it's the government you deserve to get fired and possibly and or brought up on charges depending on the situation but again they continue to go after Chappelle they continue to try to cancel Chappelle and every time they open their mouth more people watch the closer more people tune into the fact that Chappelle basically said truth gender is a fact every woman Every person who has been born on this planet came out of a woman. Oh my. Oh my. Watch them go. Wee! And every time they do, Chappelle makes more money. Netflix makes more money. And more people's eyeballs hit the screen. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it. Share it. Subscribe to it. Leave a notification. I'm sorry. Hit the notification bell. Excuse me. So you never miss a thing. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you as always. Let me know what you think. Any questions, suggestions, things that I've missed. And we'll catch you guys next time.